Okay guys, we're going to continue talking about addition. So our essential question, how can you add using tens and ones? What are some different strategies I can use to add within 100? So today we're going to talk about how I can solve addition problems by using blocks or drawing. This is continuing on yesterday. So Canadian geese are found in, hmm, what do you know, Canada. Callie saw 22 Canadian geese. Sarah saw 12 more. How many did they see all together? So our equation is going to say 22 plus 12. You can use a number of the different strategies that we've talked about. You can draw your tens and your ones. You can draw a number line. Whichever strategy works best for you. I'm going to draw tens and ones. So I have 22, which is two tens and two ones. And I have 12, which is one ten and two ones. And then I'm simply going to count them by tens and ones. So I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 30, 334. So 22 plus 12 is 34. Your vocabulary. We have place value, which is the value of where the digit is in the number. And we have addition, the action or process of adding something to something else. We've got a few examples up here. We're going to do one together. So this says, draw blocks to add. Do you need to make a 10 circle, yes or no? So we have two different boxes. We have our box with our numbers, and we have a box with our drawings, which is where those are going to go. So we have 52 as our first number. So 52 is 5 tens and 2 ones. Then we have 18, which is 1 10 and 8 ones. So then it says, can you make a 10? So when we need to make a 10, we have to look over here to see if we can make the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can make a 10, so I'm going to circle it, and I'm also going to circle the yes. So this makes a 10. So everything in here cancels out. We don't have any 1's left because this makes a 10. So now I need to count all of my tens all together to see what my answer is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and all of those ones turn into a ten. So 52 plus 18 is going to equal 70. There are two other examples that you can work through. And we're going to look at this one. This one is similar, it's just shown in a different way. It says add, use place value blocks, and your work map. Can you make 10? So we're going to do this second one down at the bottom. 29 plus 7. So 29 is 2 tens and 9 ones. And 7 is obviously 7 ones. Then it asks, can you make a 10? So I need to look and see how many ones I have to see if I can make a 10. I know over here I have 9, and I'm just going to take one from over here. So these make a 10. Now let's see what we have. So yes, we made a 10. So 29 plus 7, let's count. 10, 20, 30, because all of these ones made a 10. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 29 plus 7 equals 36. So anytime you have 10 ones, it's going to make a group of 10. Your high order thinking question. How can you use drawings of place value blocks to add two two-digit numbers? You are going to record yourself answering the question using the microphone tool. And then your pages for today are pages 573 to 576.